we need to know the total height of this part. And rather than mess with changing out the spindle on the depth mic here, I think what we're going to do is just use some gauge blocks. We've got machine surfaces, front and top and bottom, whatever you want to say. And we've got a known three inches there. So then I can drop my depth mic down onto those gauge blocks. Know that I've got three plus whatever the mic reads. Oops, just barely not enough. So we'll go three inches, 100 plus whatever the mic reads. There we go. So that is 906. So four inches, six thou. Should be our total, total height of our part. I think we're all set up now. Uh, I'm not sure that I've got a good insert for what we're doing, but it's all I can think of at the moment. So we'll run with it for now. Uh, this is our bronze, uh, bearing bronze, so we need to turn this down to 1 inch 751. Yeah, 751, and then we're uh, about 3 and 3 quarters long on our final, final length here. And got a chip guard in front of the camera, because I'm guessing this is going to be messy. And we'll just start with a pretty light cut. We'll just do 40, see how it does. A little bit messy. It's pretty though. Already. Over on the greener Darbor press, and I've got them both clean. Um, I hope this is going to go well. We'll see. So there's our piece of bearing bronze, and I've got a piece of Delrin that I'm going to use to push on it.
that may be a bad idea, I don't know. It just seemed like something good to not contaminate, or not, I'm sorry, not deform the bronze. I'm trying to see if we're square on there or not. Okay, it looks right. Let's see what happens now, I guess. Let's let off. Okay. My sizing's good. This is requiring some some force, but not a ton. Okay, almost home. Okay, that was that. Oh, looks pretty. Okay, let's see if uh, we hit our depth on this side. I'm happy with that. So here's our fit. Fits pretty nice, just the slightest little wiggle and that'll allow enough clearance for oil to move around and it's basically just a thin film on here, but not enough to uh, allow this thing to weeble wobble at all. So that came out, uh, that came out pretty nice. Happy with that. And just put our little chamfer on there. So the last thing we need to do is turn off the rough surface on the back of the hand wheel. I'll offer to do that for him since we were going all this way. And it's a fairly big thing and it's cast iron, so it's actually pretty heavy. Um, but I figured we could hold it by uh, pulling the jaws out. Got them preset here and let's see if that'll work. It's going to be tough to go backwards on tightening, but we don't need it to be in there super rigid or super centrifugal or um, what you call it, concentric, but we do need it in there securely. Well, maybe that's not going to work. Not without some uh, spacers of some kind. Oh, that's annoying. 
I guess we'll flip the jaws around. Only takes a minute, but it's always annoying to do. This will allow me to get the bronze and cast iron grit out of there, so that's good. See if this is close. Yeah, that should work. Just use our same copper shims so I don't dig into this. I mean, that chrome is I'm sure hard as can be, but. Even still, I don't want to put marks in somebody else's, oops, somebody else's uh, part. So for this, we're just gonna take off essentially the minimum. Um, don't really, not trying to remove metal necessarily. Really just wanna, ooh. I'm saying that as I dig right in. But yeah, we've. Really just want to make this surface smooth. So all this is is five. Five more. Gonna call it good at that. Well, that is a wrap. This was a whole lot of work today, but very gratifying. It uh, came out as well as I could have hoped, I think. Um, pretty much everything exactly on size or close enough to meet clearance or uh, meet tolerances. And aesthetically, things look okay. That machined all right. Could have been a little bit smoother. I think I, um, I don't know what I was doing there, but I didn't put cutting oil on that last pass. Um, but otherwise, you know, other than that little, little complaint, there's not a whole lot to complain about. So Adam can now get his uh, machine back together and even minimize the amount of material used. So Adam will have that stick a bearing bronze to use for another future project. Thanks all for watching very much, and I'll get back with the uh, sump restoration in uh, next video probably. I've got to think about a couple of things and then do some more dirty work, but that's going too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.